Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Joining us now is Tim Manning, instructor of digital media at Topeka Center for Advanced Learning and Careers, along with a couple of the students in the class, Jordan and Richard. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Excited to have you guys on the show because uh, Recently, you've been helping out the Topeka Shawnee County Public Library with uh, summer reading campaigns, and you guys have put together graphics and videos. Uh, how did this all come come uh, together now for you guys? Well, uh, the the digital media <clears throat> uh, class is uh, comprised of juniors and seniors, mm -hmm. of um, students from Topeka, all over uh, USD 501 school district. Uh, Topeka West, Topeka High, Highland Park, Hope Street, even Hayden students uh, can attend. And um, we came across this opportunity to be able to work with the uh, Topeka Public Library to do their summer reading program, all, all the media for it this summer. So we worked with their art director um, over there and um, also came up with social media videos mm -hmm. um, to, uh, the vi videos are geared towards to try to get teens. Uh, the graphics are really more um, a blanket uh, for all age groups, but um, these students, Jordan and Richard, uh, were very involved with working with our art director and getting the graphics done for um, the, yeah. the program this summer. Yeah. yeah, tell us a little bit about their graphic work now. I believe we have um, some of the graphics to show up here. Colin, if you want to pull that up real fast. There we go. So some of this is your work here, right? Mm -hmm. yes. uh, wait, what was it like? Um, I guess this, this is really a real world experience of working with a client, yes. putting together um, campaigns. How, how was the experience? It was, at first, it was a little challenging, mm -hmm. I can admit, um, because we just have never done anything mm -hmm. like this. We have had experience with, like, working on, like, fake, you know, media of advertising course, yes. things. But this was really the first time that we'd ever been challenged with a real-life scenario, mm -hmm. I feel. And a big part of, like, the most challenging thing, I think, was communication. Yes. And once we figured that out, it really was just a lot of fun mm -hmm. between each other and working with our peers to get such an amazing project done. Definitely. That's, you know, it, yeah, I think that's the, the most valuable lesson you can learn yeah. where <laughs> sure anybody can, you can go, you know, put a flyer together, but all of a sudden when you have to get, jump mm -hmm. through hoops, get yeses from people, mm -hmm. it becomes a little bit more yes. difficult. What, what was it like for you, Jordan? Um, I think it was very challenging at first because like Richard was saying, um, when it's kind of your first time um, working with a big organization, because it's not just like your school mm -hmm. or your parents are asking you to make something, you're working with something that's going to be going throughout the whole city. Um, so I think it was very um, challenging, but also a learning experience to be able to um, learn what it's like to have trial and error was the biggest thing was especially in the beginning when you create something all of us kind of created our own things but then we're like oh we kind of have to work together on this yeah. we have to communicate um, learning what the library executives though what they wanted what their vision was and being able to take that and take our ideas and put those two things together to create a product and do you garden. feel like a little bit more prepared a little bit yes. more excited for taking on a real world job yes, oh definitely. yes <laughs> most definitely. i mean this is a huge resume builder mm -hmm. so whether you're going to college or whether you're going to yeah. just step right into the job market like i mean working on a citywide campaign like this mm -hmm. this is going to be amazing it's incredible that you can get this kind of hands-on yes. learning experience at tcal it was really lucky to um uh coordinate with the a library on this um, for sure. We mm -hmm. we hope to do it again next summer. Yeah, I hope so too. Because like we were talking about some of the videos, I do. I want to show one of the okay, videos. Yeah, sure. uh, Paul, <laughs> can you play the Western one? I really just love the the heart that went into this yeah, video so, so much. <laughs> Getting teens, just <laughs> reading. It, it was real. That was really their idea. I, I said, uh, "What are you going to be doing?" Uh, and then I just, uh, I said, "Go for it." And then really guided them all along the way and made sure that the tech, uh, the technical parts of it were working, and you know that it communicated something uh, really 
really cool. And who better to speak to uh, your fellow teenagers than yeah. teenagers and yourselves, you know? <laughs> I love it. Um, where can people go to learn more about kind of T-Calc and maybe looking for their, their kids and their students to... Well, the Topeka Public um, Schools website, if they, mm -hmm. they can look up T-Calc, the Topeka Center for Advanced Learning and Careers, and um, find out about the curriculum there. And uh, awesome. yeah. yeah, definitely Great. ask your counselors yes. if you are oh, interested. If you're yes. interested, it's it's so much fun. I love mm -hmm. all the video editing that it's I used to so do in high cool. school. It's one of, it was a blast. It got me here, <laughs> for better or worse. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys so much for joining us this thank morning. You. Thank you. Such wonderful work you guys put together. Congratulations! And please, thank everybody, you. find their work at the Topeka Shawnee <laughs> County Public Library. And I'm sure it's going all going to be on tscpl.org.